Today we are going to crochet a super cute big bag. What is the wire used for this bag? Chenille double crochet. About 150 grams of turmeric and 20 grams of turmeric are used for white. The crochet hook used is a 3.5 millimeters crochet hook. Let's take a look inside it. Very large capacity. Everyday small items can be put away. Next we start knitting. This is the main part of it. For the main part, we use the lock needle method. First tie a slip knot on your finger. Then crochet the needle into the loop. Coil pulling the gesture of the left hand. Press the little finger first. Circle around the little finger. Circle around the index finger. Then the thumb and middle finger pinch it into a ring. Then crochet the winding. This will form a small braid. This is a braid needle. This is our first braid stitch. Let's mark it with a marker button. Then hook out the winding. Hook out. This will form a small braid every time the wire is hooked out. One, two, three, four are now four braids. The representative is four needles. Five, six, seven, we bought a total of 30 braid needles. After 30 braids are crocheted, what? We crochet a standing stitch. A standing pin. Then crochet. Return to the penultimate stitch one or two. This is the second stitch. From the crochet hook through the center of the second small side. Pull out another coil winding at one time. Two loops on crochet. That's a short needle. First stitch. This is where we can see that a small braid will form at the top. This is the first stitch. Let's mark it with a small mouth. This is the first stitch of our first stitch. Then we continue to crochet 28 short stitches. Inform short needle 2, 3, 4, 29. Hmm. Until I crochet 29 and a half stitches here, we still use the last stitch. That is the stitch marked by the marker buckle. We're in the stitch marked by the marker button. What about in the last stitch? We tip three short stitches in the same mobilization. Okay. Two. Three. We can press the thread under it to crochet together for a while. It saves us a long-term link. And after crocheting, er, three short stitches? We turn to the other side. What about the other side? Our needles are one-to-one -one correspondence. Among us. Which needle do we thread on the left? We can continue to thread this needle on the right side. The needles on our left and right sides are shared. We have a stitch on the left. We still thread into the stitch on the right to knit. Then we will continue. Purchase 28. Unabated. Short. After 28 unbroken short stitches are knitted, what? We only have one last stitch left. Our last stitch. We can see this last stitch. The last stitch on the left. We already attacked a short needle in the beginning. It's the stitch marked with the crossover. Then we. Crochet still creates this momentum. Continue to crochet two more short stitches. After the two short needles are crocheted, what? We crochet a leading needle with the first needle. The crochet needle is inserted into the first stitch. Tick a coil. Then pull into the previous coil. This is a pin. The warp thread that are pulling needle pulls like this. This will reduce our traces will be smaller. Then crochet around the thread to crochet a standing stitch. Then we started crocheting our second loop. Second lap we were in the first stitch. What about the first needle? That is, our hook, knitting, pulling, and pulling needles are the same needle. Crochet in the stitch you just marked and marked. A short stitch. The addition of the short needle is in the same. Knit two short stitches. Hook two short stitches from one stitch. The first stitch is in the same stitch. Two short stitches have been knitted. The first we formed at the top of the first. Mark on a braid. This is our second round of pegs. The second we. Continue to crochet 28 undiminished short stitches. After 28 unbroken short stitches are knitted, what? We came to the same needle on the opposite vertex. Three stitches crocheted. This is my three stitches are the position of our vertex. We are at. Each of the three stitches. Middle crochet with one short stitch. Okay. One of the three stitches is knitted with one short stitch each. Then we came to the middle. In the middle part, we continue to crochet 28. 
the short needle without adding or subtracting. After 28 unbroken short stitches are knitted, what? We have the last two stitches left. Last two stitches left. We're in the last two stitches. Crochet one short stitch separately. One. Short stitch. After the two short stitches are crocheted, what about? We can see our starting position. Here's a sideways is this one short one stitch purpose. This, this needle, this is not this, this is. This is the buried trace. This is the stand up pin marker. This is the first stitch of our second lap. Then let's go on, this lead pull mark doesn't need to be ticked. This is not a needle. Then we crochet off the number seven button. Crochet hook into low needle. Crochet a pin. Then crochet another stand up stitch. Next we will continue to crochet our third loop. Our third lap is in the first stitch. The first needle is the same as the hole for pulling and pulling the needle. Crochet a short stitch first. Then the first stitch is crocheted. Mark it with a marker button. Then in the second needle. Knit a short stitch. Then we tell the middle part not to add. 28 short stitches without reduction. After the 28 short stitches that are not added or subtracted are knitted, what? We have come to this inflection point. We can see where the inflection point is. The next six stitches at the inflection point. The next one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the six stitches of the inflection point. We are in. What about the six needles at the inflection point? Add one stitch every other stitch. Add a stitch every other stitch. Add a stitch every other stitch. Knit three times. Crochet a short stitch in the first stitch. Add a stitch to the second stitch. Crochet a short stitch in the third stitch. Fourth stitch plus one stitch. A short stitch for the fifth stitch. Add a stitch to the sixth stitch. So we're crocheting three sets. Add a stitch every other stitch. Add a stitch every other stitch. Add a stitch every other stitch. Then our inflection point is complete. Next we crochet. 28 short stitches not added in the middle part. After 28 short needles are crocheted. The last four stitches left. Then crochet among the four stitches. Twice every other stitch plus one stitch. Crochet twice. Two groups of one stitch plus one stitch. Crochet a short stitch in the first stitch. The addition of a short stitch in the second stitch. In the third needle. A short needle. Knitting a short stitch in the fourth stitch. Then we in the first stitch. Crochet a pin and pull it tighter. Then crochet a standing stitch. Then our bottom part of the bag is complete. The bottom part of the bag is completed in three circles. Next, let's start buying the fourth lap. Let's start buying the body part. Our body part is unabated. Tick off and knit every stitch. Just knit a short stitch. Hmm. After the last stitch on the 28th lap is drawn. We pull the coil out. Pull out. After pulling out we thread the first stitch. Thread the first needle. Then take the thread out of here. After taking it out. Let's pick up the half braid from the last stitch. From the middle of it. Take it out like this, here, here, this trace is. The haze marks will not be obvious. It will look better. Then our forehead is a circular stitch method. First tie two slip knots on the fingers. Then remove the needle ring. Thread the crochet into the loop. Tick a coil. Then knit another stitch. This holds the needle ring in place. Next we crochet six short stitches inside the starting loop. Short stitch hook. Crochet hook into several loops. Hook out a coil. Drag out two loops on the crochet hook at once. This is our first stitch. Purchase with a marker buckle. Tie up this wheat braid formed at the top. In the second circle, we will start from this miscal. Go to the top of the braid and crochet the second loop. This is an. Every time you hook a short stitch, it will form like this. A braid of wheat. Then we crochet into the loop. Tick a coil. Winding drag out all the loops on the crochet hook at once. This makes a small braid. Now there are two broken needles. Thread the crochet into the loop. Hook out a coil. Drag out two loops on the crochet hook at once. One, two, three is now three short stitches. Then we continue to inform. A total of seven short needles are told. Four, five, six, seven, eight, a total of eight short stitches crochet. After the eight short needles are crocheted, what? Can we count it eight? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's count it, this little braid. 
The eight little braids represent eight stitches. Then make the gas shift a little bigger. Make it bigger. And then add this opening. It's bigger here too. Then we can see that there are two rice whites separated here. There are two connected loops that create two thread ends. Two line segments. There's another thread. Let's put the thread here first. Leave it. Let's pull this inside first and pull this inside first. Pull hard. Take money. After tightening. Let's pull the outside thread. Ah, this thread. For the thread that was left just now. Pull hard. After tightening. Our ring has shrunk in a few stitches. Crochet then go through a few loops. Then place inside the ring. Then we in the mark buckle position. Make a starting point for the position of the mark button and make a pulling needle. A loop is drawn from the return mark buckle position of the original hook of the hook. Tick a coil. Then directly hook this out of the coil. Into the previous needle. Then we pull a little tighter like this. Pull the needle a little tighter. That's a pull pin. We're done with the first lap. Then we crochet the second loop. The second round is also a stand-up needle first. Then we crochet the second loop. For the second round we are crocheting a short stitch in each. This is when we first lap. See this corn? There are 8 ears of wheat in total. We tune this ear of wheat. This is how to mix wheat ears. Turn to me. This is the first short stitch. Okay? Be sure to mark me. This is the first stitch of our second lap. Then comes the second needle. Pick the top braids. Tell a short pin. Then came the third needle. Pure milk constitutes a short needle. That's how we are in every needle. Buy a short needle. Purchase a total of eight. What about after the eight short stitches are knitted? Then we tell our. Take off the third circle with a mouth. The crochet needle goes through the original way and turns back. Crochet a lead needle in umfoot crochet wood. Hair a little tighter. This way, the hard drive traces will not be obvious. Then we. Crochet a standing stitch. The third circle we begin to crochet the third circle. The third circle is the same as the second circle. Eight short stitches we crochet without subtraction. Crochet one short stitch in each stitch. The first stitch is crocheted. We're still going to mark it down with a marker button. Third lap. After the eight short stitches are knitted, what? Us in base and mark buckle. Position knitting a pulling needle. Crochet a pin. Then crochet a standing stitch. Then we are like this for our third to fourth laps. Then we hook the fourth lap. The fourth circle is also unabated. One circle of short stitches without stopping. After the fourth round of the eight short needles that are not added or subtracted are crocheted. We crochet a leading needle with the first needle. It's all a pin. Then the hook is a strong stitch the hook is a strong stitch. In this way, we have completed four rounds. Four short stitches and we're done. We're almost done with this one, two, three, four now. Finish hooking the part of the duck's mouth. Then we now hook this part of the duck's head. We're going to add stitches on the um front. We're going to start adding needles. Then we start knitting the fifth circle. For the fifth circle, we first knit three short stitches. Crochet a short stitch in the first stitch. Crochet a short stitch in the second stitch. A short stitch in the third stitch. Then add a stitch to the fourth stitch. Adding a stitch means the same stitch. Crochet two short stitches. Crochet twice. Then we are in the fifth needle. Twice short stitches are crocheted in the same stitch. This is a short stitch. The needle comes out twice. Come out two short needles. Then. Next, there are three stitches left. We are among the remaining three needles. Knit a short stitch each. Then knit a pin with the first stitch. Pull it tighter. Then knit a stand up stitch. We start weaving our um we start. Weave our sixth lap. What about the sixth lap? We are the first to tell the four short needles. Let's knit four short stitches first. Two. 
2 3 4 then crochet in the fifth stitch added stitch with a short stitch then in the sixth needle also knit a short stitch then we just keep going crochet 4 short stitches After the four short stitches are knitted, thus in the first stitch, the crochet needle also pulls a needle. Then tell one of the other needles. Well then our eight district. After the sixth loop is knitted, what? After the sixth loop is knitted, what? We continue unabated. Crochet triple loop short stitch. Unabated. Crochet triple loop short stitch. Our first. Seven to nine laps. Our short stitches without adding or subtracting three laps. The 7th to 9th laps should not be added or subtracted. After 12 short stitches are knitted. You can see our girl. Almost out. Then we crochet into this position. Hook in. This position should be used to hook a needle. Then we switch lines at this position. Bring in white in this position. That white thread forms a 08 needle thread. Press all the threads under the crochet. Crochet a stand up stitch first. Then pull this yellow thread hard. Pull the white wire like this. Pull hard. Make this interface smaller. Then we start to weave our this neck part of the neck. Braids are crocheted from the center of the braids outwards. Thread the needle out like this. Only pick up the outer half of the line segment. Such small braids pass through small braids. Center out needle. Only pick up the outer half of the line segment. In this way, half of the thread is always exposed. This will make us appear. This will look like our duck. The brain part will be more complete. The first circle of straight outer plate needle. Our crocheted straight outer board needles. Then leave this row of this line in line. Our girl will be more complete. Then we knit the second lap. What about the second round? We forgot to cross here. It should be possible to find the position of the white of the eye. Is this. Knit a pin. Next we crochet a standing stitch. Then continue to crochet. Next, we are crocheting short needles without adding or subtracting. It's not the white line. It's the part of our neck that presses the neck. Then we need a total of this neck. A total of about 50 lines need to be purchased. Everyone can express themselves. If you think it's short, can be lengthened. We crochet to the end ah. Uh. This pressed plaid is crocheted after the last lap. We knit a lead needle with the first stitch. Then hook out a stylus. Cut the line. Just cut the wire and pull it out. So let's learn this little corner first. Next we crochet this little one. Part of a duck's little foot. Part of the foot. Our long pressing method is also the circular stitching method. First tie two slip knots on the fingers. Crochet hook into several loops. Tick a coil. Then knit another stitch. We are knitting in this few stitch loops. Seven short stitches. One. Four. Okay. No. Seven. Crochet seven short stitches. After the seven short needles are crocheted, what? We put the starter loop needle also. Pull down. Narrow the opening. Zoom out. And then we in the first stitch. Set aside an eye-numb needle. What if you still can't count the needles? We can still use a mark and mark. I'll mark it with a marker button. Then I did not mark here. Then tick to the second circle. The second to third circles are also seven short stitches that are not added or subtracted. Two. Then crochet a lead needle with the first needle. Next we crochet a fly stitch. Start crocheting the 8th circle. Start crocheting the 4th circle. What about the 4th lap we are in each of our? Is to add a stitch to each. A total of 7. Knit a short stitch in the first stitch. Then turn to the 2nd needle. And form a short stitch. What about the 3rd stitch? The addition of the short stitch. 4th needle. Knit a short stitch in each stitch. After the fourth round of knitting, it should be 14 stitches. I should be 14. Next, we crochet a drawing needle with the first stitch. Knit a standing stitch. Then we start weaving. Crochet our fifth loop. The fifth to sixth laps are two laps without addition or subtraction. 
The fifth lap is the fifth lap is the sixth lap is two laps. 14 short stitches without addition or subtraction. The fifth to sixth laps are not added or subtracted. 14 short stitches are knitted. Then crochet a lead needle with the first needle. Then crochet a standing stitch. Then we fold this film in half. After folding. Front threading, front threading, front threading, front threading two needles threading together. Crochet a short stitch first. Then crochet the thread. The first one goes through the first needle. Knit a long needle. A total of six needles. A long needle above. Then crochet two braid stitches. Into the next needle. Also two stitches go through the hook together. Knit a pin. Then come to the next needle. Set aside a short needle. Then the hook and loop thread seeps into the stitches. Knit a long needle. Then knit two braids. Into the next needle. Knit a round needle. Then go through the next needle. Crochet a short stitch. Crochet another long needle in the same stitch. Then two braid needles are threaded into the next needle. Forming a pin. Needle can be pulled. Then the hook is a paint pen. Then we can disconnect. Besides, it's here. The other is the one, two, three, third on the white line. The second pin of the third row of the row.